Hi, welcome to a video tutorial. Just going to work through some of the maths tools here. First of all, you can see I'm using the, the board profile now, the default one, so in fact the maths tools aren't visible. So just a quick reminder, this is where you select your program um, profile and here's maths tools. Um, I was out shopping yesterday, my son's off to secondary school and I was reminded that a lot of these tools over here are just like those old fashioned geometry sets which apparently you still need to go to secondary school. So I'm just going to work you through the ruler, the protractor and the compass. And they're pretty straightforward to use really. Uh, first of all if we just um, click on the ruler, it's just worth reminding ourselves yet again we need the arrow, the select tool to work with, to start with to select a new tool. Um, just bear in mind you can have, if you want to, more than one ruler. I can think of a few situations where that might be useful, but this isn't one of them. The other thing to notice is as the pointer goes over the ruler, you get various options. That um, multi-headed arrow like that is obviously for moving. Um, the arrow like that with two heads is for rotating, and if I um, go on the top edge it rotates along the left hand side and if it go on the right edge on the bottom edge it rotates about the right hand side so you can uh, kind of as you get more slick using the ruler you can um, build that into your routine. Um, obviously to, to make any use of the ruler we need a pen so we just click onto the pen tool um, and then we just remind ourselves that we've got our pen settings up here so that's green and I think I want a nice thin line, actually no, a bit fatter than that so you can see it. Now the only thing that can really go wrong at this point is that you can see the pen tool will not latch to the ruler unless you are working with it between the naught and the 150 mark. If that's the case then that's easy enough. Let's rotate that. Now you can see it's been quite nice to us because even though we're still um, got the pen tool highlighted we can actually get some basic uh, other mouse commands in terms of either moving the ruler um, or rotating the ruler which is enabling us to continue to draw this um, slightly eccentric triangle. Okay I think for this part of the demonstration um, we can get rid of the ruler so I'll just throw that into the bin uh, and now we'll get out the protractor tool okay so same thing again double headed arrow um, means the double headed arrow means move the uh, two headed curved line means rotate we don't need to rotate it uh, just yet and the um, double headed arrow but linear I can't get that up at the moment there allows you to adjust the size of the protractor. That can be quite useful if you're working with relatively short lines. It also makes the whole thing a bit more visible. Um, so we can then uh, measure off the size of our angle. You can see that this is 25 degrees. I, I won't bore you with chain that all the angles uh, add up to 180 degrees, but that's clearly um, a use that we could make of this tool. Uh, just to um, mention briefly, you can see um, once I get the uh, curved double headed arrow up, I can rotate it. And this number here is simply reading off how many degrees that I've um, rotated the protractor through. So that's another way of checking that you've got the angle measured correctly. So if we rotate um, to here, yeah, so that this line lines up with there you can see it says 335 degrees and that's because 360 minus 335 is 25 degrees that way. Let's just um, chuck that back in the bin for the moment. We will come back to the protractor late in a later podcast um, because it has quite a useful tool for um, drawing pie charts. Um, just hit the rubber tool here, get rid of that and now I'm going to have a go with the compass tool. Um, compass tool, um, nice and straightforward. Remember you have to go back onto the um, select tool to get it. Um, all right, just a click and there it is. Um, and then you need the pen to um, actually draw something. It, your pen is now here and you can see when it's going to work because the little, um, if I just go for a fatter one, 
as I um, come up to the end of the pen you can see that green circle is now latched onto the end of the pen and that indicates that we're going to um, uh, when we rotate the tool when we rotate the compass we'll get a nice circle drawn by the compass so there you go just work it round like that uh, obviously there are a few kind of old school geometry things that we can we can use this for so I'm just going to get the rubber take away that line I'm just going to quickly get a couple of straight lines and just as a reminder I'm going to do that in a different way I'm going to click on the shapes tool and then this is the general line drawing tool here um, so there's a line there's another line and something you might remember doing at school is how to bisect that angle so we go back to the select tool put this on there move the compass to be a little bit smaller looking for the rotate tool and now we can come up to the end Actually, I'm going to need a much thinner pen than that. Make a mark there. Similarly, make a mark here. Just drag this over here. Oh, no, I need to rotate that through there. And then there. Right, and now I'm just going to um, get rid of the compass tool. And I think for the finale, we'll go for the ruler. Because if I get the ruler to go through there and through there, hit the pen tool. we have now bisected that angle that angle there should be equal to that angle there but I'm not entirely happy with that so I think we're going to undo that line drawing um, I think if we're going to bother to teach this we might as well um, do it fairly accurately nope Okay, final go. And I think you'll agree that looks um, like a much more convincingly bisecting angle. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that little run through those tools.